Welcome back. It is new books time. I have so many good ones. Let's start with a picture book. Now, I'm thinning a little bit back here. I'm getting old. Yeah, my hair is starting to disappear, but I'm not bald yet. But if someone at home that you know is bald or balding or, you know, someone, you know, a grandpa or uncle or something like this, this is the perfect book to read. It will totally help you have a little more empathy for them as they go through this process. This is the first picture book I ever read about someone going bald. And I thought it was really interesting, also really sweet and funny. It's called Mr. Fiorello's Head. Yeah. It's really great. Then, for my Godzilla fans, we have a book all about Godzilla. Like, it's not a story with Godzilla, it tells you about Godzilla and his history and the movies that he's been in. Then, we have a beautiful book called Out of Nowhere about two really good friends. Are you sitting next to a really good friend right now? Maybe you are. Now, we have a book that was so popular in our library, and it's also a game, and there is a sequel, which means part two. The book was called, yeah, <clears throat> butt or face, and there's a new one, and it has a subtitle called Revenge of the Butts. So you see a picture, and then before you turn the page, you're supposed to guess what part of the animal it actually is and it has facts about real animals and speaking of real animals we have another picture book about animals that live on the serengeti and this is for my non-fiction fans if you want to learn about animals that live there then we have a new chapter book series that we never had before and we have four in the series the series is called gum girl and it looks really cool and i love the inside and I don't believe they'll be too hard to read. Gum luck. So we have four in the Gum Girl series. Wanna take a peek at what they look like inside? Like lots of pictures, even though it's chapter books and they're in color as well. So maybe check out the new series. It'll be on the new book wall for a little while and then eventually it'll be on our school rack. And my graphic novel fans, we have two books in a series we didn't have yet either. This is called, ooh, this is perfect for Halloween. Garlic, the vampire. And we have the sequel, Garlic, the witch. I think that's a sequel. Oh, maybe I have them in the opposite. Maybe it's Garlic and the vampire, and then it's Garlic and the witch, I don't know. We'll have to find out. <laughs> Read them. Let me know. I haven't read them yet. Then, for my Nintendo fans, we have a new What Is in the series. We have What Is Nintendo. So if you want to know the history of that video game system and those characters they've created, check it out. And then we're also going to start our Monster Book Bank again. And we did so well last year. I bought so many awesome toys, and they're all on display. So my big question to you, and we're going to talk about this in library, is what should we collect this year for? So if you donate a penny, a dime, a nickel, no dollars, just like little coins that you find between your couches or something like that, and then you touch it, Godzilla will come out, and he'll grab your coin if you never did this before. And then he'll take it, and then I'll count it, and then I bring it to the bank, and then I buy stuff for the library for us. Now, last year we focused on monster books and monster toys. So should we keep doing that? Keep it going? Or should we collect for something different? And I'm going to leave it up to you. I'm going to get some ideas from you. And then we'll take a vote and we'll decide what this year's focus is for our monster bank. All right. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.